Hey, it's Rick. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, from time to time, I do product reviews. If you've been following this channel, uh, we've actually uh, moved and we're going to be doing a lot of different products. And I'm just giving you a, a wide array of what we're going to be doing. This is a tankless water system that's going in a new house. It's electric. It's the Eco 36. This is the way it comes in box. There's different places you can get it. Amazon directly to your house. Uh, I believe it's like around uh, $600. A tankless water system valve kit that goes on the bottom of that. And then we're also going to start with a pre-stage, just one stage filter uh, before it goes into the water filter system. This is going to filter all the water that goes in before the hot water heater and the whole house. And that's going to have a carbon block sediment filter. So that's basically what we got. It's uh, no bigger than like a suitcase, believe it or not. That's the way it comes in the box. Nothing real special. There is some codes here. If you go to their website, and it'll tell you where it's more efficient in certain climates. We're going to be in South Carolina now, and uh, we can actually use this on three showers running at the same time and two sinks continuous. So that's a pretty good amount for like a four-person household or something, and uh, it's supposed to be more energy efficient. Save 50% on uh, water heating costs. Uh, that's to be determined later on. Saves money, saves space, saves energy. Limited time, uh, lifetime warranty on it. The only thing is, the reason why I'm just showing you box right now is because I have to turn this over to a uh, licensed electrician and a licensed plumber to put it in or it voids the warranty. That's how they get you. Hey Trick and welcome back to the channel. This is an overdue product review. This is the EcoSmart tankless water heater. Now this has been installed for over 16 months and I just now did a uh, flush on the unit and the video is down there in the corner if you want to check that out. This will go, right now I get it off, I'll turn it back on again. This will go for temperature wise all the way from 80 degrees all the way up to 140 degrees. And it's instant hot water heater. As soon as you turn it on at your faucets, within 30 seconds, you've got hot water. We usually keep it around 120. It goes off when you leave it alone. That's 26 Celsius to 60 Celsius if you're not in the States. And like I said, 80 to 140 Fahrenheit. This is the Ego 36 model. You can get these from your big box stores or I'll put links down at the bottom of my page on YouTube. Uh, you can grab them on eBay or you can grab them on Amazon, whatever you want to do. If you click those links, I appreciate it. I am an affiliate of both those stores. And whatever residual income you generate helps the channel. Thanks again. And what you have here is flush valves that I've installed. And that's how you can flush the system. You got to do that periodically once a year. If you have hard water and you don't want any calcium to build up on the coils on the inside, the heating elements. This is a relief valve in case it builds up too much pressure to blow off. You got your regular shutoff valves here. Here's where the inlet comes in for your cold water and then it's going to lead hot water here out the red valve. These are your flush valves here that you're going to put into a bucket. Like I said, check that other video out. Now, real easy. This thing is like a suitcase. It's real small. Um, and this does the whole four bedroom house here. I mean, I've got double bowl sinks in both bathrooms. This supplies and also our main sink in the kitchen area. It does both showers with walk-in showers in both bathrooms. And we can have the whole house going at one time. People taking showers, doing laundry and everything else and never lose hot water. There's just on-demand water at all times. So you pop this knob off here. I've already taken the screws out. And this is what the internals look like. If you're familiar with heat exchangers, if you've been in the business as a plumber, pipe fitter, or um, a mechanic that works on the outside, these are little mini heat exchangers. And you've got one, two, three, four. Now there are smaller models and they'll have three and some will have two and they're even smaller and they can be actually mounted at the point of supply like in underneath your sink. Um, but this we put in the garage. My, my garage isn't heated and air conditioned. It's not conditioned at all. Uh, but I do have um, insulation in all the walls and in the doors and we don't have to worry about it getting below uh, 32 degrees here in the, in the garage. Like I said, and then you have your elements in here. They pop on here. You got your electric coming in, which heats those elements up. 
You have your temperature sensors here, one, two, three, and also a sensor here that tells you what the inlet water temperature is and what the outlet water temperature is. And it regulates and modulates. Now, we have a 200 amp service that just goes directly to this. There's another 200 amp service that goes to the house. I know it kind of sounds like overkill, but that's just for this and it supplies that and I have some other things that are coming off that 200 amp service. So the way this does, like I said, it modulates when you go ahead and adjust your temperature here and it doesn't use all these all the time. It may modulate, like this one may just go on a little bit, this one a little bit, and then they don't have to all go. But if you're really, you know, in high demand throughout your house and all these are going to heat up, right now they're just my wife and I and this thing has been very energy efficient. I went ahead and I um, actually just fanned my um, centers on my joists and I went ahead and put uh, some 2x4s up there and I mounted it to that. You got your supplies coming from your, your house that are underneath the ground. This is a slab house. The overall measurements for this thing is like, like 20 inches by 17 inches. Now your valves do stick out a little bit longer down here, about nine inches to clear. People are going to say, why did you go ahead and uh, insulate on the cold side? Hey, I'm anal and that's what I did in case somebody hits it. It gives a little bit of cushion and we're not smashing into it real hard. But of course you want to insulate on your hot side where, where the hot water comes out. Now there isn't much to this thing. Um, you do have to have a uh, licensed um, electrician to hook it up. If you don't um, have a licensed electrician, then you lose your warranty on this. This has, does have a lifetime warranty on it. In case something happens, they'll replace probably the element. Well, I don't know if they'll replace the whole unit, but uh, it's pretty simple to probably get the parts for. And these really aren't that expensive. I think it's like $600 shipped to the house. Now it sounds like a lot of money. I understand times are tough, but when you're talking about a whole 50, 55, 65 gallon um, hot water heater that's constantly heating water all the time, the, the efficiency of that goes down because you have to keep on heating the water in that tank. Uh, to go ahead and get hot water out to your fixtures. This only heats when it's called for. So these are completely ice cold until it calls for hot water and then they go ahead and they heat up those individual exchangers with the heating element inside. So I don't want to go and uh, get into weeds on this too much. Um, here's the electrical hook up here. We actually made a knockout here rather than coming through here. It was a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing and we didn't have the room to really come out where we were trying to get in with the, our handles for our valves and that seemed to work out. It doesn't void the warranty or anything like that because we're only going through the back of the sheet metal that comes into the unit. Nothing that's uh, mechanical. So if you have any other questions, let me know. Maybe I missed something. I rushed it. Uh, I wanted to get this out to you. We've been really happy with it um, so far. Hey, knock on wood. It's been flawless and we haven't had any issues. Hey, once again, that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Please hit that. There's also a bell icon. Smash that. It notifies you right away if something that's come out. Please share with your family and friends. Give us a like and a thumbs up on YouTube. It ranks us higher in the ratings. That helps us out with the channel overall. Take care, everybody.